A U.S.-based Indian journalist Rana Ayub has commented on the Supreme Court's decision on the land of the Babri Mosque, which was destroyed by Hindus in 1992 as a major victory for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's national government. She said in the article in the Washington Post that the decision, which gave the Hindu eligibility in the land of the mosque, supporters a right-wing vision that makes Muslims in this country second class citizens. The right-wing nationalists celebrated the court's decision on social media and welcomed the decision by journalists and writers as the end of a century-long conflict. Like many Indian Muslims back home, she said she tried hard to grasp the logic of the kind of justice that is celebrated and the conclusion and satisfaction they are talking about. As a child who experienced the 1992 anti-Muslim riots that followed the demolition of the mosque, she was also forced to experience this truma again. She hinted at the tense situation of Muslims in the country and even soon after her sad comments read on her Twitter and Facebook shouting to keep silent saying to her, we live here, your family and my family do not make it difficult for us. We cannot afford to storm the mob to our house again. Rana says that since the demolition of the Babri Mosque, everything has changed and things have worsened ever since. Muslims are perceived as strangers and invaders and their neighbors are no longer as friendly as before. Hindus invaded their neighborhoods and became Muslims in the eyes of India first and later Indians and how her country chose to describe her and millions of Muslims as the other paving or paying or paving the way for right-wing Hindus national Hindu nationalism to realize her dream of the Hindu national or nation. She stressed that what is happening now is a res resounding message to more than 200 million Muslims in the country that they must bear all the humiliation and injustice expected since or silence of the lowest citizen, which makes it uh, and millions of others feel orphans again in the land they love and cherish.